Hey guys, um, Snake here, and um, I I read an article today, and I was shocked. I can't believe what's happening here. I mean, this is like one of the most shocking things that have happened in my life. I mean, okay, so what happened was today I just looked up um, the roller coaster in Seattle called the Windstorm. If you if you live in Seattle, you should probably know about it. And this one guy said that. You know, he saw them taking it down or whatever, and it's like, oh, you know, then I thought, well, that's, that's a lie, you know, that's, that's not going to happen, because that place has been here for such a long time. I guess, from what I read, the, from what I read, the coaster was there since 1993, um, so that's about 10 years, or it's over 10 years, that's, like, 17 years or something, but, um, I can't believe it. I mean, so so I looked up an article. I went to Google. I typed in Seattle Windstorm Roller Coaster. Be, roller Coaster being two words, not one. Um, and um, it's in seattletimes.nwsource.com. I said it's been the most popular ride at the Seattle Center in Houston Park since it was installed in 1993, but now the Windstorm roller coaster is headed to Texas, so I guess they're taking it to Texas. So if you live in Texas, you know, there's going to be a new great ride for you. I think you'll like it. I am not that, I'm not a roller coaster guy. I'm kind of scared shitless of roller coasters because the GE Force and stuff, I really, I need to get used to that, I know. And I will try when next, or this year at the Mineral Fair, this September. I know it's a long time, but since that, since, or I know it's going to be a long time until I do that, but unfortunately I can't speak time up. And then it says, the Fun Forest's big rides are being sold, dismantled, and shipped off. The south part of Fun Forest, including Pavilion with bumper cars and Kitty Lane, will remain open through Labor Day 2010. A remnant of the 1962 World's Fair, the Fun Forest is a victim, declining revenue and a changing vision for a Seattle center. Steve Robertson, whose family owns the park, says he sold five of the big rides and has offers for the remaining two, with the names like Wild River, Orbiter, and Tornado. Expect the rides to pop up at carnivals, or expect the rides to pop up at carnivals and fairs in California, Texas, and Midwest. And if Robertson pulls off one deal as far as Argentina, so that sucks. I mean, um, I sorry messaging someone. Um, so I can't believe it. I mean, I am like, I know I've been shocked about some things, but this is this grab my attention like, like nothing else has. I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, this place has been here for such a long time. I, I come down, you know, that's the place where I took the video of the fireworks server for 2010. That's where I was. I was at this place where all these rides were being sold at, and all the rides were there. I mean, I didn't see any getting taken down or anything, although I didn't really see the roller coaster there. I only saw, like, a few rides and stuff, but I can't believe, I mean, that, this place has been here just for forever, for, for ages, and to me, and, you know, I, and, you know, now it's, like, gone. I mean, they're, they're like, you know, the place ain't going to be the same again. That is, unless they, like, get more rides there. If they do that, then that might that would be cool, but I think they're just going to sell them and leave it at that. I, I mean, I think they need the money, and, you know, you know what, con, you know, economy sucks right now as we all know i mean it's kind of like the second great depression because you know barely anybody can get a job from what i hear i don't really pay attention to politics or whatever the hell it is but i can't believe this happened i mean it's like it's like surprising now go ahead call me a little kid if you want you know but i went on those rides you know i went on them when i was like seven and i've been there ever since i you know I've been there ever since I was a kid, you know. I can't believe they, they took this place down. I mean, I really can't believe it. I mean, if you were me, you'd understand. I mean, this is just weird. I can't believe it's happening. Except for the fact, for economy issues, maybe that's why. But like I said, but I can't believe it. This is, like, shocking. So, I keep saying the same thing over and over again, don't I? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to annoy you guys, but I'm just trying to you know, tell you guys about one of the big parts of my childhood, you know, so, yeah, I guess that's it.
I don't know, maybe I could probably dip down there. I could probably go down there this weekend and look at it, but I can't believe it. I mean, one of the big parts of my childhood is just down the shit. Anyways, I'm sorry. I keep saying the same thing over again. I will let you go, go back to work or whatever you're trying to do. So, um, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you later. And, you know, if you want to, you know, make a video reply, you know, that, that would be awesome. You know, maybe, you know, share something like some story that's like, Um, uh, I've been talking to my dad and he's like, like, um, he's like, maybe we could go there this weekend and watch it. I don't know what he means by that. I think just watching that or Kosher get dismantled. I can't believe it though. It's shocking. Like, and okay, okay. I've said that how many times now? Uh, um, I can't believe uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I'm focusing on two things at once. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to make a video of a similar story, feel free to do so. I mean, I, I will watch it, I will watch it no matter how long it is, you know. You know, especially 10 minutes, you know, I can, I can stand and do that, you know. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and please comment. And if you just saw me, well, don't subscribe unless you like my videos, you know. So anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out. And once again, I cannot believe it.